Hi, my name is Olivier Père. I am the artistic director of the Locarno Film Festival and I am obsessed by cinema. <laughs> Well, you know, I think that my, my goals this year uh, were the same as the previous year. But sometimes uh, what you want and what you get are two different things in life. <laughs> um, no, I, I mean that to, to succeed this edition, which is, to my opinion, uh, very successful and uh, very faithful and uh, really fit with my expectation and uh, what we think, not only me, but what we think a, a great festival should be, um, took, took time. And uh, I think that we, we already worked hard last year to redefine, to, to have some new ideas, some new visions about Locarno. Uh, and uh, we, we, we start last year and it was, to my opinion, and uh, I think it was a great experience. It was, it was fresh, it was exciting, and it was very new for me, of course, because uh, um, I was uh, discovering, I was experiencing uh, Locarno. And uh, I think that the, the success uh, with the media, with uh, with uh, with the press, with uh, with the industry, and with the people who like cinema, who are interested in cinema, last year helped us a lot to to succeed this year. Because uh, I really feel this year that the the, the face was back, and that we uh, we had the, the 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 producer, the author, uh, were feeling more confident about uh, Locarno. Uh, they understood that Locarno was an exciting place, was a useful place, was a place of devotion for cinema, for passion for cinema, for the auteur, for the new films, for the young filmmaker, but also for cinema in all these dimensions, from the genre film to the documentary, from the popular film for the large audience on the piazza and the most radical film experience. So it was very supportive and uh, this year, of course, we work hard. Uh, we were also lucky because uh, the production, the films this year were very good, very strong. We had uh, plenty of choice. So we were able to, uh, to make a festival with uh, strong content. I think that the international competition this year is very strong. We have very good first features, but also films by important uh, contemporary filmmakers. And we will also work hard about the, not the glamour, but the fact that we, we succeed to invite actors, filmmakers, producers, movie stars, uh, living legend of the history of cinema. They accept our invitation. So at the end, we have a very um, beautiful uh, cast, I would say, of, uh, of important actors, actresses. And, but they are all there. Or to, uh, to receive an award or to pay, to pay a tribute, not only to themselves, but uh, to the filmmakers they work with, like Leslie Caron for uh, Vincente Minelli or Gérard Depardieu for Maurice Piala. That the proof that these persons are mostly artists and uh, they, they had a very important careers, they are very famous, but they are mostly uh, film passionate. I think it's important because uh, the programmation of the Piazza Grande is very different from the programmation or the selection, I would say, uh, of the international competition. The international competition, we are looking uh, for the most, um, not necessarily successful or important or popular, but original, uh, authentic, brave, uh, film experience. So we are supporting a lot the authors, the producers, uh, people young or not so young who are experiencing uh, new forms of cinema, daring cinema. So I think it's a place for a certain kind of radical cinema, of independent cinema, and it has always been like that in Locarno. On the contrary, the Piazza Grande, it's it's not only for the cinephile, it's not only for the specialist, it's not only for the critic, it's not only for the people who are very concerned uh, by the cinema, uh, by the new cinema, by the independent cinema. It's, I would say it's, it's, a, it's a place for everybody. It's a place for the cinephiles, but it's also the place for the tourists. It's also the place for the family. It's also the place for the people who just want to have fun, to entertain, to have a great show, uh, 
uh, open air show. So, and I, I, I'm okay with that because I, I love cinema. So I love blockbusters, I love genre film, I love romantic comedies, I love uh, German film, Italian film. I'm interested in everything. But when I am programming the piazza, I'm not only uh, thinking about my own taste, about my own concerns about cinema. I'm thinking a lot about the audience. So I want to create a balance between summer blockbusters, uh, romantic comedies, German film, Swiss film, um, European film and Asian film, and, and of course, some author film uh, with, um, with a potential for the mainstream audience, like this year, Emmanuel Mouret French film, uh, and it's not, uh, it has nothing to do with compromise. It has nothing to do with showing film you, you don't like or film you have contempt for. for. I, 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 like, I like this film, but I want, it's, it's also um, a gift. It's also something we are doing for, for people who love Locarno, love the atmosphere, love the show of the Piazza Grande. So I think it's an interesting balance. I think it's uh, the demonstration, the proof that uh, we don't have to have, we don't need to have complex to consider ourselves as a, sp a festival for specialists or a festival too serious or too a tourist or too uh, dedicated to a certain kind of films or dedicated to a certain kind of audience. I don't want to people feel uh, rejected by the festival because they consider it's not for them because they are not cinephile enough. And uh, I really want to open the festival to all the cinema and to all the audiences. And uh, I think Locarno is, is an important international film festival. because it's a, not, I don't care about being big or being huge, but I care about being uh, important, uh, useful, influential. I think that there are the three uh, qualities of a film festival. Uh, to be supportive with a uh, young filmmaker, to be supportive with a certain kind of independent cinema, to, to affirm, to express your, your um, conviction, to, your opinion, your ideas, your passion for cinema to, uh, to, a, to an audience, to, uh, to a film community, but also to, to create uh, an event, to create uh, a feast, to create uh, a show and to, uh, you know like all the festival it's always a balance between uh, the most artistic radical cinema and, and the glamour and, and the entertainment cinema is art and industry cinema is uh, uh, art and entertainment and that's the reason why i'm paying tribute to vincent Minelli. that's the reason why i'm very happy to invite daniel, daniel craig or harrison ford because they are artists they are great actors they are very popular but uh, I have nothing against uh, uh, famous or talented or popular uh, movie stars if they are talented, if I like them, if I, I respect and admiration for, for them as for Harrison Ford, Daniel Craig or Bruno Gantz, Gérard Depardieu, they really deserve it. It's not a coincidence, they are not famous uh, for nothing. <laughs> so uh, of course they belong to the cinema, they belong sometimes to the history of cinema and uh, so they um, they are legitimate, completely legitimate in a festival like Locarno. It's very important for an international film festival to develop a market. Of course, in Locarno, we can't make a huge market like in the biggest festival. We don't have room enough and space enough. But uh, today, um, uh, art house film festival with only good film or with only tributes or homage. Of course, it's, it's great, but uh, it's not enough to, to bring the industry, to bring the distributors, to bring uh, the people who can be supportive with the film at the economical uh, and the commercial level. And uh, you know, a, a film festival like Locarno uh, with the competition is always the first step of the discovery of the career artistic and commercial and critical career of a film. So to make a, a festival useful, to make it exciting and to make it relevant, we need to have a good press, the good journalists, the good critics, the media, the TV, the radio, people who are talking and, uh, about films, 
Uh, and, but we need the industry as well. We need the producers, buyers, uh, distributors. We will, we will pick up the films, discover the film in our festival. So it's important for Lacano to be uh, a festival, as you say, which means with world international premiere. So in that way, people are more curious to come to Locarno to discover a film that will be screened for the first time or for the first time outside its own country and to be able to, to buy it, to take it for, for theaters or to take it for DVD or, or even to take it for another festival because we are also inviting a lot of programmers, a lot of festival directors who will discover the film in Locarno and we will in invite it in their own festival. In a way, I, I completely understand that it's a normal evolution of, of the technique, and especially of the way of watching films and discovering films, because there's a lot of countries, especially in Asia, in Latin America, where you don't have uh, theaters anymore, you don't have art house theaters anymore, you don't have a film release, the films are not released in the country. So, you know, in China, in the Philippines, in Korea, in Japan, you are watching film on your computer, you are watching film, you are piracy. It's a, every, everything, if you are a film fan, if you are fascinated by cinema, everything is possible, everything you can have to, to, to see a film, you, you, you take it, you know. But um, I think I was lucky because I was able to, to discover a large amount of great films in, in a movie theater or in, a, in good print or the, in the original support. But I'm, I'm afraid it's past, you know, it's, it's, it's over now. And uh, we will have to figure what will happen with cinema. I don't think that cinema will die, but cinema will mutate. And we are already in a very important era of mutation, of uh, radical transformation of what is a film, what is a screening, what is a support, what is a, a frame. So we have to observe that, we have to be attentive and we have to see what is good, what is bad if creativity, if artistic thing can go out of uh, this revolution. Yeah, sure. I think that uh, shooting in digital um, affect the, the way uh, filmmakers are, are thinking, producing, making a film. And um, maybe it opens some, some windows because uh, with digital, there are some things you couldn't do before. If you are a great artist, I think it's not only a tool, you know, it's, uh, it's not only because it's cheaper, because it's smaller that you can make a, a better film or, you know, it's a, it's a tool, you know, you can have digital or 35 or um, 3D, or you are an artist or you're not, you're, you're a filmmaker or you're not. So what I am interested in, what the, filmmakers are, are, are doing with new, new techniques and um, some of them were pioneer kind of, yes, pioneer of digital, you know, people like Pedro Costa, like Sokurov, like Goda, they, um, they open new gates. I know what is interesting, there's a new generation of young filmmakers, you know, 20, 30, they never shot in 35. They never edit uh, a film, they edit film on computers. So, and maybe they are more free, maybe they are more able to, to, to reinvent or to be more creative. And of course, a lot of young filmmakers I know, I, I, I appreciate the film, are not making film like we were making it uh, 10 years ago or 20 years ago. So I think it's a complete revolution. And uh, a way of making film, I think that the, the, the way of making film uh, from the 20s uh, till the, the 90s was more or less the same. But in 20 years, it became something else, something else. And for, for the worst and for the, for the better, maybe. Well, you know, I, I try, but I try when I was uh, 12. So it's a little bit like in Super 8, you know, I was, uh, I was shooting Super 8 uh, horror features uh, with my friend. But I didn't. Uh, I, I don't. See, I can't consider that I, <laughs> as making films or being a filmmaker. No, it was. It was a disaster. It was. A, it was a complete failure. Um, no, I think I. Um, I never consider myself as a, as a as a as a filmmaker. I had some kind of dreams, some kind of fantasies about movies. I was obsessed by movies uh, as a teenager. Uh, I became a cinephile. Uh, and I, 
at the beginning, I, I didn't know what to do with its cinephilia. It, it was a disease, it was a hobby, it, it was an obsession, it, it was good or bad. And, um, but it, for me, it was something very strong. It was kind of revolution as well. And um, I just try, you know, just to see what it was to, to enter into a film school because I have no idea, you know, maybe it's um, interesting. I was a little bit, uh, I didn't want, I, did, I have no idea of what I will do of my life, you know, after uh, the university or after the... So um, I, I, uh, I passed the two exams, but I missed the final exam, but I realized it was a chance for me. I was very lucky to, to, to fail because it was not my way because I was not an artist, I was not a technician, I was not... Uh, but I think I was a spectator, I was a film buff. I, uh, I enjoy a lot watching films, uh, being curious about the history of cinema, because being be curious about the films. And I, f I, f I found my way, I was very lucky to, to find my way, thanks to the French Cinematheque, because I went to Paris, I spent my night and days watching films. And um, the IMA is a programmer. And I, I realized, finally, uh, at 20-something, uh, 20 25, that my way was to be a programmer, film programmer. Because I, 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 I love to watch movies, and I love to program movies, and to share movies with an audience, and to discover new movies, and to, to be generous with that, not only selfish. And after that, I had the opportunity to be some kind of film critic, anyway, to write about film, so it, for me it was, it was great. And finally, but it was a kind of uh, um, a way to, uh, to, to be an artistic director, to run the festival, because if you can program film from the history of cinema mixed with new films, it, it, it helps you to, to know more about film, to be a good uh, spectator, to, to have some clear maybe wrong, but clear ideas about what is a good film and what is a bad film. So it helped me a lot to, to become an artistic director at the Kenzen and now in Locarno. I, I'm not afraid of that, you know, it doesn't scare me. I'm not uh, stressed about that, but I realized yet not at the beginning, but uh, when it's, it's get quite successful at the fortnight, like in 2006, and we had uh, very beautiful films, the Discovery, strong film, and especially when I, I became friend and I became some kind of partner because I was the first spectator of the, some films and the films were successful and the filmmaker became famous and made other films. So yes, I help, I contribute to the recognition, but also to the career of some young filmmakers uh, who were born at the fortnight, the six years I, I, I used to be the artistic director. And I'm very proud of that because I really admire them. I was very proud to, to help them in a way, to be supportive and to be useful. I think what is the most important is to, to be useful, to, to, to help and to support uh, the, the people, the artists, the filmmakers you like. So yeah, yeah. But you know, it's a little bit too early to know if I had a very important contribution to film history. You know, maybe in 40 years, or we'll see, we will see if uh, uh, some great master of cinema, like uh, today, I don't know, uh, Godard or Sokurov or uh, um, Karostami, uh, were, were born at the fortnight uh, or in Locarno <laughs> between 2004 and 2000 uh, something. <laughs> I hope so, I hope so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>